cuz here. Got a uh, end today from work, and uh, wife want to know what to get a couple of my nephews for Christmas. Uh, just in case y'all are watching, I'm not going to tell y'all, but one of y'all that does not watch my YouTube channel, I was going to give him some Winchester Ballistic Silver Tip 308, 150 grain ammo. Got two boxes of it. Well, I went to going through it, and two of the case overall lengths were kind of short. Um, I'll give you a close up later. This is a, out of a box I got a couple years ago that didn't have the ballistic silver tip in it. So, anyway, I went, I had two boxes, and I went through them, and I found some oddities in both boxes. And um, I kind of, when I reload, I cramp mine, and uh, I noticed none of these were cramped. And anyway, this is my favorite round for my AR-10, but it's not anymore because when it goes in a semi-automatic and you don't have a cramped round, you got to worry. So. I found a bunch of oddities in two boxes. I went through all the rounds in both boxes and I gave him the best of all the rounds. So, bring you over to the table and show you what I have found. Okay, this is out of an old box. The ballistic tip. It's not in there. This is the ammo. I really love it. It's really accurate. I just I don't know what I don't know what they're doing wrong with the factory. So I, I had two boxes of this. I picked through the good stuff, and hopefully my nephew won't hurt himself with the bad stuff. I found that in two boxes. Miss. I don't know if this one's good or not, but anyway, that's supposed to be your case overall length. I noticed it was shoved down a little too far, which led me to believe that the, they weren't crimped right there at the rim. Out of two boxes, I got two of those. Yeah, not good. So I went through both boxes. I started twisting them. Okay, that one's good. Got three bad over here. Three bad right there. Got a good one over there. Got another one. Oh, wait. Guess that one will be easy for me to reload. We'll put that one over here with the bad pile. Right, let's check this one. Alright, that one looks good. Put it with a good pile. That one looks good. Oh, whoop, whoop. We got a twister. slams up in the AR-10 and the projectile goes further than the case I don't know what's gonna happen I don't know it's not a good deal so we got three good 
The one with the tip missing, I'm not going to call it out of this pile. So we got three good and four bad right now. Alright, new one. I have not. Ch oh, this one's major. Major. That, that's major loose. Y'all can't see it. It's got powder. At least I got something to reload with. And I don't have to clean the brass on the others. Good thing I didn't give these rounds to my nephew. I'm going to call that one good. I'm probably going to reseat these bullets and crimp them. I'm going to call that one good. Like I say, I'll reseat and crimp those. We're halfway through a box of 20. movement it would probably work but I'm not going to chance it so I'm going to stick it over here that one's nice and tight That one's nice and tight. That one's nice and tight. This one is bad loose. Bad, bad. It's got powder in it, but projectile was bad bad loose not looking good Winchester that one's good and tight like I say probably gonna recramp all these myself that one's good and tight that one's good and tight so out of this one batch, this one come out of another batch. So I'm going to exclude it. And the one without the polymer tip come out of another batch. I'm going to exclude it. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I kind of feel comfortable with shooting. And then we got six I don't feel comfortable shooting with. Now that's not a very good ratio. I really love these these rounds. I really love the brass for, for cleaning and reloading, but I don't know. That that right there told me it wasn't crimped. Whenever I saw evident in shipping or whatever, that bullet pushed down further. Projectile pushed down further and I don't know. I don't know what was going on. And and I looked at my mine got a little when I reload they got a little ring right there where it kinda of bites in a little bit. So glad I didn't give these to my nephew. I haven't seen these two that were seated too far. I'm gonna uh let's let's see if we can hand pull. Oh yeah. Alright, this this other one's see how much further it's seated.
Alright, let's see if I can get it out of here. Got it out by hand. Didn't need a bullet puller. Well, glad I didn't give those rounds to him to shoot his deer out of his AR. Kind of embarrassing. Thanks. <laughs>